Summer is here and it's rolling around really nicely. I'm having a great time with the weather. It's hitting 30 degrees plus and uh, I've been wearing a lot of sneakers. However, I felt like something was missing and when this sneaker announced that it was going to launch a year ago, I said, yeah, I'm going to get it. The launch date rolled around. Adidas, you know, you see the title, you know what it is. It launch date rolled around. They dropped all those Yeezys on the one day on the Adidas app. And uh, I didn't hit. I used to hit on everything. I used to hit on the slides, foam runners. Wow, when, you know, it was really popping. But now that they came back and released one bulk, I didn't hit on anything. So that means I had to turn around and pay the resale. However, I'm a little happier with this pair paying the resale because I paid a resale for quite a few recently on eBay.ca. And uh, this is probably the lowest valued one, the one I spent the least amount of money on. So, you know, I couldn't really complain towards this one. Anyways, let's get into the shoe. I'm talking too much about why, how I got it, all this. So, let's go. Anyways, here's the box. Nice up close. See all the information on the front. Ten and a half is what I go for in almost every shoe. Some things I need to size up 11 if it's too tight or narrow, but ten and a half for me, straight across the board, good to go. See on the name there, it says Yeezy Boost 350. And a few months ago, go check my other review, I got the Turtle Doves. Those ones cost me a little bit more. Got those ones pre-owned. I was able to get these ones brand new and for a decent amount. I believe I paid about... $400 Canadian or something really good steal steal of a price um they're still floating around that I believe or maybe slightly going up as more pairs sell but yeah anyways the box is a typical easy 350 box slide out um what I recall the original turtle dove the box was a lift off or something uh on my in kicks we trust podcast me and the boys go go check that out um, we talked about the boxes earlier, but this one is a slide out. I believe the original pirate backs were a slide out as well. Not too sure. I had to turn about. Anyways, pulling this out, I noticed battery's gonna die. Battery is gonna die, so uh, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry, I probably should have checked the camera before I, you know, started filming. But yeah, battery, fresh one in. Sliding this open. Here we go. I've already opened these. I've already worn them once or twice. You know. I love these shoes. They're so comfortable for the summertime being mesh upper. Anyways, let's have a look. So, there you go. If I hold it up like that, get a nice look at it. Just a quick 360. And let's have a look at the shoe. All right, so, I mean, nothing new. These have been out for a long time. I'm so happy that they released them because I had a pair back and they really beat them. Uh, only ones I still have left are my Moon Rocks. They're still pretty beat as well, but my Pirate Blacks got completely destroyed. They're not wearable, so I needed a new pair. And I didn't want to go back and pay like 2K for, you know, the OGs. And, you know, I don't know how much longer those will last because they, they came out in 2015. It's 2023 now, so yeah. Anyways. I love the mesh on the top. I love the way it goes on the foot when you tie it. The thick laces. Get that for you there. It's plastic aglets, but I like the thick round laces. It's really nice. They feel comfortable. This is the main thing. You know the fashion behind these when they first came out, they were hyped up and everything, but once I put them on, I was like, oh my god, not only are they hyped up with the fashion, they feel extremely good. I love Boost. It is my favorite out of all sneakers. Um, so I'm a little biased when it comes to it, but yeah, it's, yeah, I already dirtied it up a bit. But yeah, small details. If you want to see a fresh pair, I don't get check someone else. But this is just to show part of my collection, part of things I'm wearing this summer. If you want to see more of my summer rotation, just check me out on Instagram. I'll link that below. But anyways, you're here to see the shoe, not just to hear me talk. I'll go throw these on. Let's go have a look. Okay, I probably should have wore black socks. These, you know, a little contrasting. Maybe not the, the best to go by, but... Bear with me, okay? I love that boost feeling. Now, the difference between these that I find in Ultra Boost is the boost on the bottom, like, it feels just more solid. With the Ultra Boost, kind of the heel in the Ultra Boost goes down 
a little more. Where you can kind of see this is a chunkier heel. I find it's wider. Just the shape is different. So the places they put the boost is a little different. But all in all, more comfortable. This feels like it's more comfortable for just standing and walking. But the Ultra Boost feels like it's better for actual movement. The price is different. One's for fashion, one's supposed to be for running. Uh, what do you guys think? Okay, and that's it. So here's a quick look. Side by side. I love them once again. And the thing is, okay, the look on foot is not the nicest with shorts. It's just, it's really hot right now. I don't feel like putting on sweatpants, but I prefer these with a the sweatpant, a baggy pant, oversized, not oversized, but like tapered and fitted. That more athletic look. So, I know, more of a fall shoe for me, but in this, once again, in the summertime, it's so nice to wear these outside. Breathable, comfortable. Yeah. Anyways, retail, I didn't pay retail, I paid resale. Go check them out on ebay.ca, that's what I trust more than like StockX and stuff like that. And maybe you can find a pre-owned pair that look just like more than once or twice for cheaper than what I paid. Anyways guys, till next time, take it easy.